Hi, for this plane we will be using a regular sheet of A4 paper. Um, it's best that you don't use paper that's too thick, um, but you don't need anything fancy either. Just regular printer paper is perfect. Just don't use anything thicker or you will get in trouble in the later steps. Um, I'm also going to use a pencil just to make some markings for the video so you can more clearly see them. And as is usual, we're going to start by making a center crease like so. And you really want to make sure the corners are perfectly aligned before creasing this all the way. And check the other side just to be sure. And that looks good. Um, then um, if you want to make the wings the same angle as I do, then you can make some reference pinches here. Uh, this is optional, you can make the wings in an other way if you want to, but this is how I like to make them. Um, so you bring this corner towards the center, gently pinch. Then you bring the opposite corner towards that pinch and pinch again. And then finally you're going to make this corner meet the previous pinch. And that's our last one. And then I'm just going to mark these so you can more easily see them. So these are the three pinches that we're going to work with. And we're only going to use this one actually. Um, then bring the paper around so your center crease is a valley fold, not a mountain fold. We're going to bring these corners towards the center crease on both sides like so and here as well and then we're gonna gently roll this over but not actually fold it just bring this corner this tip over here to the center crease and make another pinch I'm gonna mark this on the other side so we have it as a reference for later and then you want to roll this gently over here and pinch again, but you don't have to fold this. And then we bring this step towards that previous pinch and this time we fold all the way. And we bring the tip towards our previous fold again and then fold this back up to make this flip. Then we flip the paper around, we want to bring this towards this reference pinch that we made earlier, like so. And you should have around one centimeter of bare paper before these flaps start. Then we are going to roll this flap towards the edge of our paper and fold this. And then we have this little flap here, we're gonna hook it behind the other side of the paper. And then we go back over here. Um, now we're gonna fold this corner towards the center crease and we actually want to leave a little bit of margin here So about half a millimeter, so don't bring it all the way towards the center crease But leave half a millimeter of space Else you risk ripping your paper and we do the same on the other side Like so <clears throat> And now what you want to do Is fold this in three but Folding something in three can be a bit tricky uh, because you usually don't really have a reference but here we have this point and then we have here this point where this uh, crease meets, meets the edge of the page so we can use this as a reference so what we want to do is fold this edge towards um, starting from this point towards this point like so and actually you want to leave a bit of margin like not that much, just like a millimeter or even less. So don't fold it all the way over there, but leave a bit of space. And then you want to fold this again and bring it onto that crease. And then you're gonna crease it once more towards the center crease. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Fold it, but not all the way to there. Roll it up once more. And then the last time towards the center crease. Now you can see that these corners are perfectly aligned with this little pocket below. So what we want to do is put these inside the pockets on both sides. And that will make sure these layers stay in place nicely in flight. Um, and now we're going to flip the plane around and fold it in half. And then here on the top we have this little uh, pocket. Sometimes it comes open, uh, this time not so. We want to pull this out and make it like so. 
And then what you want to do is put this center crease from the pocket over the wings. Maybe just tighten it a bit first and then just gently push it like so and align it with that. And you want to flatten this side. You want to flatten the other side as well. Like so. Then you will notice at the bottom there are these two pockets on, on each side. And what you want to do is wrap around this little flap and tuck it inside the pocket. This is a bit tricky because these flaps are quite small, but it shouldn't be too hard. And when you do the second side, you, you can kind of tighten it if you want to, but don't tighten it too much or you risk ripping the, the paper over here at the nose. So just gently tuck it inside. Don't stress the paper too much. It doesn't need to be very tight to keep the lock. So just gently put it in. Then when it's, when it's in there, just flatten it. And now we are ready to make the wing. So remember those pinches from the start. Uh, one side has one pinch and we actually want the other side with the two pinches. And we want to use the one closest to the center. So that will be this one. So I'm just gonna put my one finger over here and then here we will fold from right above the nose lock. So we will fold here and I will keep one finger on the back on my reference pinch and I will work these thick layers over here like so and then make this ring in this angle. You can make another angle but I feel like this is a nice compromise between having a nice big wing to glide and having some stability. So that's the one I prefer. But you can change this if you want to. And then we will just fold the second wing to match. Like so. And now for our little winglets. Um, because these wings are at an angle, um, we need to compensate for that. Else we create more drag. So we could make these straight on, but then we are uh, not... The, the winglets will not be facing forward, so they will create a bit more extra drag. So what I like to do is have like about three millimeters or two millimeters on the back and about one centimeter in front. We will do the same on the other side. Like so. And if you have a different wing angle, you may not even need to compensate for that, so it's up to you. And then we just roll a bit on these leading edges to curl the paper slightly apart and do these a bit outwards the winglets and then I will just give it some up elevator. The plane has a tendency to go nose down because the nose is so heavy so just slightly pinch the back sides here and here close to the edge and that's should give it some upwards elevator. And your plane is now ready. I hope you enjoyed this uh, and good luck folding it.